allow you to heal up a bit. I will toss in a little bit of oil and salt. Then my onion. So now you go ahead and pour your chicken. This is the water that came out from the chicken. Yeah. Go ahead and pour your chicken. <laughs> you go ahead and add your chicken in here. Okay. I'm using one kilo, one kg of meat chicken. So I'll go ahead and add a little bit of salt to taste. Add some pepper, dry pepper. Add some garlic powder. And some seasoning. So I'm going to stir all of this together. The reason why I added all these things now is to give it a test. It's just like you are marinating the chicken. Okay. Is to give it a test, then I can still add some of it later on. We all know that chicken doesn't waste time to cook. <coughs> So keep turning it, you can see the look of this chicken is coming out beautifully. Okay now, the next thing I'm going to do now is to cover it and let it cook for, because I'm not going to add water, the chicken has its own water okay so I'm gonna cover this to cook for a few minutes okay guys now I'm gonna cover it allow it to cook for some minutes okay so guys after three minutes I'll go ahead and add my carrot It's there, okay. Stir everything together. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and cover it I like to cook okay okay guys so while we are waiting for our chicken for our uh, chicken sauce to get ready so I'm gonna scoop in two tablespoons of all purpose flour in here I've already scooped in one this is it like so I'm gonna scoop in and add it here so you can use any flour of your choice okay 
So the next thing I'll be doing is to add some water here. The end of this floor, this floor is going to help the sauce to be thicken. Okay. We don't want it thick, we want it to be in a light consistent. In a light consistency, okay. So this is how you go. Keep turning, keep stirring it. Keep stirring until I get the consistent that I want. Okay, guys, this is how I want it. All right, that is it. So let's go and check our sauce. Oh, so guys, after five minutes. Yeah, five minutes later. So you can see I didn't add any water. You can see there is no water here. Okay. Now we all know that chicken has eaten oil too. So the oil is helping to fry this as well. So now I'll go ahead and add my already diced Irish potato. This is not sweet potato, Irish potato. Mix everything together. They are well incorporated. I hope you guys can hear my voice. So I have to test this. So I need to check if my seasonings uh, is enough for this or if I need to add more to this. Okay, so I'm going to be testing for salt. Okay, so guys, at this point, I'm going to be adding just a little bit of water, a little bit, a little bit of it, okay, not much, just a little bit of water. You can see the water is not that much, it's just a bit in here. So now I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt to test because I have test for salt. Uh, the salt wasn't enough, so I'm going to be adding. You have to be careful so that you will not put too much salt in here. And I'm going to be 
adding a little bit of seasoning monkey. So now I'll be adding ginger powder. Give me a spoon. So guys, uh, curry powder is optional. I just want to add a little bit of it. <laughs> then mix. Now we cover it and let it cook for at least three to five minutes. Okay. Okay, guys. So after five minutes, let's check if you can see there is no water in here again. The water has dried off. Did you see that? No water. So we want to check if our potato is done oh this is hot ok guys the next thing I'm going to do since our potato is done It is time for us to add our flour, all purpose flour, to thicken this chicken sauce. So now I'm going to mix everything together. You can see it has bind them together. First floor is a great binding for this type of recipe. Okay. I'm going to cover it. Okay, guys. Yeah, let's see the finished result. Can you guys see that? This is our end result so far. This thing is focused. So 
so guys this is how to make our chicken pie sauce our chicken pie sauce is ready hope you like this video guys if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it to your friends and your family leave us a comment and don't forget to take it to your kitchen to make it and enjoy see you guys in my next video and bye for now